it's one of those like the more you do it you're like you kind of fall in love with it a little bit more and more and this is one of those like then when I like when it's done it's gonna be perfect What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day here in Florida and we have another Cybertruck yet again. This is our fifth one that we're doing and we've learned a lot in the last four. So this is really an opportunity to really continue to take what we've learned in the last four that we did and then put it into this. I mean, full transparency, we want to show you how it's gonna feel like wrapping our do-yourself kit. So we're not in our shop that's comfy. We have our air compressor, we have all our tools. We don't have any of that. Like what we've brought is the kit that we actually give. So. That being said, we're gonna be working out here in the garage as well. We realized for the Cybertruck, it's gonna be massive, right? So this is a pretty large garage and even then it feels small. So what we're actually gonna be doing today, there isn't a massive amount of wind outside. So we're gonna leave the garage door open. Typically we tell people to uh, install indoors and indoors only, but that can be difficult at times. So obviously if it's windy, recommend closing and then figuring out a way to close it. However, if it's okay, you know, you can actually do it this way, open it up. One tip though that what we're doing is if we're gonna be working on this front part, we're gonna put it all the way in this way. If you're gonna work on the back part, what we'll probably do is back it in so that it's far further away from the door, right? So you have a little bit less chance of contamination right in the elements out there. So this video is not gonna be necessarily instructional. We have our instructional coming out that's gonna be available at courses.testbros.com. If you buy a kit, you get that course for free. If you want to buy it, you can also buy it, but it comes with a kit, just so you know. But in this video, I might not be looking at the camera at all times, but it's going to be more between me and Desto, and we're going to be, I'm going to be teaching her exactly how, what we need to do. So uh, let's get started. So first step is we already cleaned this, but we just want to do a final wipe down. This is so important because sometimes, obviously, the dust settles and can land on the surface of the vehicle. Take this out, be very careful. Just put it in the ground. Um, I got this anchored, and then you're gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and start with this one. Um, you wanna get a magnet? Yeah, extend it out. Uh, you don't have to stretch anything. Uh, these magnets are tough. Okay, yep, just like that. We got this anchor down, go ahead and release it. And then what we're gonna do is just try to, there we go. Keep it on the surface. Wow, so that's a pretty good fit. And go ahead and release it. There you go, this is what I mean. You don't want it like, to pull it, mm -hmm. because if you pull it, you're gonna be pulling the, the edges. So instead, I was holding it more so here, yeah. because this can be stretched, and then there's enough margin. All right, so now that we have that done, can you just make sure that like every four or five inches, we're good? Yeah, are we trying to line it up? Yeah, okay. from the top and bottom. So go ahead and... Uh, we're trying to split it, right? Because we can actually go from this middle, okay? Split it just like that down the middle, and then we can just go ahead, go down, and then this hump right here can go gotcha, gotcha. all the way up. And look at that. Right, so you want to try lighting this one, and I'll kind of sure. help you. Yep. So go ahead and pull the whole thing out and try to be, try to keep it as flat on the thing as you can, because then that's um, while somewhat aligning it. There you go. And then every now and then I'll just like do that. Awesome, looks great. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good. She didn't even try and she aligned it. Pretty close. And remember not to hold here, you're holding about here. Okay, yeah, I heard. Doing your best, yep. And I could release this if you need me to. So you have a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, that was good. Well, we'll start from the, the, the top right here. 
go over your shoulder, heat it all up. We'll just, we're gonna go ahead and push this down. You see that? There's actually a relief cut right there. There's a bubble right there. See it? Yeah, good, good eye. Cool. Look at that. Um, and then just go all the way in. And then you see how it goes behind it like mm -hmm. this. We're just gonna do this. All right, well, first also we're just um, inspect. Uh -huh. But all I'm doing. Following that line. Yeah, but I'm focusing on the edge. Uh -huh. Like this edge, the outer edge. So I can go ahead and heat it for you if you can yeah. start doing that. And then I'll do the other side as well. Just do this. And I think this is such a good advice is like for people who's doing this for the first time is instead of trying to like fold it over immediately, just get that outer hard edge first. And then you get the face of that edge uh -huh. and then it's like a, the inside. Okay. And this wrap glove that's going to be provided kind of just makes it really easy to glide across. And after how many times did you wrap? None. <laughs> <laughs> so Desto is in marketing and operations. So this is fun. Like this is not her normal job, I guess. But I think that's what we try to do. It's like we try to get people who don't do this on a daily basis to test our stuff um, before we give it to our customers. And we're gonna do all the inspection and all that stuff, but man, that looks good already. What do you do with this corner? Um, I was gonna just clean that up um, when, towards the end, like heat it up. Okay. That's what cool. we just need to do. That looks great, Desto. Good job. All right, so as y'all see, G is prepping the door so that we can apply the vinyl. A new part of this segment is G's actually gonna rap while he raps. So let's hear it, G. Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I can't <laughs> rap, are you, are you serious? You think I can rap? Come on. So the easiest way if you have two people is just kind of peel this first. There you go. And then I'll start Aligning this first. Just trying to control that. Sweet. Okay, so what I did was just use the body line. Uh -huh. And then we can just start can we start in the middle and go, or maybe the yeah, yeah. So you can kind of um, work your way up now. Like, okay. Like, would you consider these sharp? Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll handle that. Do the middle. Got it. Those are a lot easier. Are we going all the way down? Yeah, and then go go like angled instead of going straight up. Yep. When you, whenever you see it, the the more you do, it's like you'll start understanding the. Which one can I bulldoze? Right, right. Okay, let's listen now. Straight up, straight up. And then. Yep. Can you pull that a little bit? Like that? Yeah. So this is what I mean by glass. Like those are all gonna be fine. So if you just hold it like this and you're holding the white part, mm -hmm. You can see I can literally go like this. Like that? Or a yeah. little bit more? There you go, pull here. My hand is, there you go. And then that kind of see it. evens see it. it out. Kind of. But once I get to about an inch away, I stop. Uh -huh. Because if I keep going there, you're gonna create a line. Right. So then we can just go up again. And now it's super easy to peel. Let's try to... All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hold here. You're gonna hold this in the center. And I have some um, fingers on that side. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, work on that a little bit. Look at that. 
It's definitely easier when you have an extra hand. Get your Cybertruck buddies. Make an event out of it? Yeah, get a bunch of people, help each other out. I think that's the whole community aspect of it. Okay, we're good. Just one last get one. it up, yep. Oh, sorry, uh, you yeah, meant like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You see how it's wrinkling? There you go, like that. There, now you can, this one's a little bit easier. Bring it down. It is. Just let it fall? Um, yeah, but before, I want to just go ahead and uh, like focusing on this. Just making sure it's on the body line. All right, so it gets easier here. Since we're all the way at the bottom, and we already got the body line done, this aligns almost perfectly. How's that aligning? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Right on All right, we should be moving a little bit quicker now. Thing. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and then I'll align here, and then we align here, and then we go down afterwards. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, that's good. Let it down. Yeah, just just gently. Okay. Nothing crazy. For these areas, I just kind of like to hold this back. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can tuck it in all the way. So once you peel, just bring this down mm -hmm. a little bit. a pro. Now open it up. It'll make it far easier. Because then now you could just, you see how I'm like overlapping here? Mm -hmm. And then obviously do the same thing that we normally would do. Right, right. And then this one goes over and use heat. And then, like, get it flat like that, and then you just... It's one of those, like, the more you do it, you're like, you kind of fall in love with it a little bit more and more. And this is one of those, like, then when, I, like, when it's done, it's going to be perfect. All right, so we're ready to do the rear quarter pedal. Uh, it's actually nicer right now than it was earlier. Go ahead and give me some tension. And then we're going to try to peel that. I'm going to try to hold it down here, not up here. Yep, go ahead and pull. All right. Go ahead and align this. Yeah, there you go. Loosen that up. There you go. 
Okay. 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 Now. And then we can go ahead and go up. But really making sure. Does it matter where I start? Oh uh, yeah, it does. You got to start here. Start here. Okay, yeah, I yeah, hear you. I see. I see. You, you, Like, if you see that, you need to pop it back just a little bit. Okay. Sure. Sick. Got it. How do I, can you help me with that? Yeah, yeah. All right, so and get that all out. So we closed the garage door because the lighting changed a little bit, mainly because it was fine, but there was a sun that was going to the back part of it, direct sunlight. Direct sunlight is never never good okay what happens is anywhere because the heat is just beating down on it and whatever you do even if you don't try to stretch it it's going to try to stretch and it will so we kind of close that we're going to let that sit and rest a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and finish the rest make sure this is aligned and it looks great actually so kind of like loosely and you can also see that one mm -hmm. like it was loose it's pretty good we're gonna go ahead and just start. And then, yep. Yep. Okay, so Got this, this is pretty glass. We use the term glass when it's like, you know, um, it's clean, there's no wrinkles kind of showing. So Desto actually had already done all this. So then I can kind of move my way all the way. I mean, there's two exit points too here. You got this side. I'm gonna go ahead and use the hard part of the squeegee to push this down and then you see, I could just pull this back a little bit. And then, really from here, you can go out right or left. And kind of work your way with massive overlaps. Here. Because I think a lot of people in the beginning when they do it, they start 45 and then they go whoop, right into the 90. So when you're practicing this, you're kind of um, keeping that same line instead of like going here and then boom, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you've been doing really well and that looks really good on that side. Mm -hmm. So we, since we did all that, we can do the same thing on all the edges. Okay. No different really. And I can go ahead and finish this one right here. So I like putting things back together as I go. Cause I think it's a lot easier and I just don't forget it. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put these trims on. So that's all the way in. That's good to go. All right, so we can go ahead and put the mirror as well. Okay.
and it's done. So we have pretty much all the other side done. This is my favorite part because once you finish this, you could kind of see exactly what the car is going to look like. Of course, if you didn't want to wrap it and then see exactly what you want to look like, we actually launched a new tool called the Wrap Visualizer that allows you to kind of see all the colors without trying it out. <laughs> that was going to save a lot of time and money. So give it a go, try it out. Got it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Reveal this. Let's just go ahead and take this out so it will stick. All right. Since it's two people, you know how the top first aligns from the bottom. That corner is good? Yep. All right, so if that's good, we're going to go ahead and just anchor right here. And not all the way to the edge. All right, you want to do your side first? Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel. a little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, so you're pushing up the hood yeah. to get, okay, I hear you. And then sometimes I use like the squeegee, like that. And then, and then I could use my nail like this. But you said I'm not touching the, the, mm -hmm. the light. And then I could just uh, push it in like that. going out. All right guys, so the tailgate is done. We've pretty much done all the front and all the sides. So we have one other side to do, so we're gonna get to that. But after this, we are going to be doing the PPF for the front bumper. So hopefully this helped you guys can understand how our kit works and you know, full transparency, exactly really how it works in an environment that you'll most likely be working in. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below, but stay tuned in the next part of the video.